With startups, you're creating, you're doing new things, and uh, I think the the view certainly of our students now, and I think in general, is that the most exciting things that are happening now are with startups and entrepreneurship. Scott, Diraj, and and Brian, actually all three of them. I think what they were saying is that they what their businesses do is they they deliver a very good product, whether it's for, you know, the consumer or, you know, for the corporation or for the merchant in all three cases. And when you deliver a good product and it has a great value proposition, what you want to show your customers is, is here it is. It's very transparent. We do a great job. We have nothing to hide and we want to, you know, be your partner rather than adversarial. And uh, I think that's, you know, all three of those companies have that mindset and have succeeded uh, with that philosophy. It made perfect sense to me that when you have employees who believe in the mission of the company and who uh, want to be there, that they're going to be better employees. So it, uh, it really resonated and uh, it's one of the reasons I thought the panel was so terrific is uh, I learned a number of things that I really, you know, hadn't necessarily heard before or focused on before and that was, that was one of them. Venture funding is a double-edged sword because when you take in venture money, you give up some control. And so in Scott's case, he gave the example with Steve Case where he didn't want to take the money at the time because he would have lost control. And he got enough money from Benchmark so that it didn't matter. And in Brian's case, he wasn't looking for money until his customers basically said, you need to have more money. And in Daraj's case, I think, you know, in his case, he basically, he took the money um, be, rather than selling the company. So I think in, in all three cases, they were, they had the luxury of being able to choose when and how they took the money. Not all companies have that, but that in the, you know, sort of best situations, your business is doing well, you're executing, and that gives you choice in how you raise money and when you raise money. And I think all three of these companies gave really good examples of that.